Welcome back to Shadows Over Mordoria. Uh, this is Joe and Nick, and I'm going to talk about some mundane stuff right now. You ready for this, Nick? Super mundane. Let's go. Hit I haven't me. had a chance to talk about like the mundane like existentialism that's been occurring at my time in an office Wait, job. Mundane. Oh, okay, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> so, go ahead. Uh, I mean, just like you know, like. How do I stomach life in an office? Well, I mean, I'm not even going to be in there that often, but I am yeah. getting a brief glimpse into it. That's true. So all these movies and shows that have shown me offices, like the things that like stick out of my mind are like Drew Carey Show, The Office, and Office Space are kind of yeah. Office Space, especially since my job has to do with printers. Um, uh, oh, nice. I didn't think about that. Yeah, we actually listened to that song, Damn It Feels Good to Be a Gangster, oh, as we awesome. were on the road. <laughs> like, <laughs> so great. Um, but uh, just... Just recognizing office people personalities, like people who are like, yep, we work here every day, you know, so mm -hmm. we're like regular people, but we're also like dying on the inside. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that is absolutely what office life is. Um, it's so bad. That's why I hate going into the office because like everybody's so depressing. So the weird thing is, I love it. I love being in the you office. You don't have to go in for long though. You're absolutely right. Yeah. But what it is, I don't know how to like put I, it. I used to love going into the office. Maybe, I really yeah, did. Sure, okay. Yeah. Um, I I feel like there's this there's weird like disconnect between <laughs> between like everything else and like the office is its own weird independent universe in my sure. in my sure. scope of, of everything. Yeah. Uh, I feel separate from everything I, I, I that drives me nuts outside of work. I just don't think about it. I've got oh, yeah. whatever tasks that I'm busy on, or I'm you know dicking around, wasting time. Um, and it, I don't know. It's it's kind of great. But the things that are challenging, like. Uh, everyone at my job is like, oh, so where'd you work before this? Oh, and yeah. This is like my entry level job for me. Yeah. So, but ev no one else came here that way. Yeah. They all came from like one guy was like, yeah, I used to work at uh, Dollar General. I was the uh, head of IT for their corporate branch. And like, I was like, oh, yeah, I worked at Tropical Smoothie before this. Salt Smoothies. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's, it's like everybody asks that. And I'm like, I don't, I, I don't have the, I don't really want to talk about it. But that's the, that's the question that. Was when he introduced me, like, "Hi, I'm Ricardo, Office Man." Yeah. Uh, what's What's your what's, What did you do before this? What embarrassing job did you do? Yeah. Um. But man, it's it's so weird because it just feels so different. No, um, I I know exactly what you're saying though. With that, I mean, yeah. I, I, just the other thing, like, I, it's it's definitely been a big come around for me because it feels like I have a job where I can actually get real raises. Um, if I really cared to, I could stick around and try to move up. Why can't um, I climb this ladder? Okay. And that's like such a drastic difference between working in a place where you have no room to go other than being the manager of a you know dinky place. That's the max mm -hmm. you can reach, you know. Um, yeah. And it's just it's a, it's a much more freeing thing for me. Um, so, why didn't I? So I'm pretty happy with that. Nick is pretty happy with killing orcs, though. I really am. Well, I have to kill these. It's the mission: eliminate 17 guards. Oh. So I'm not just like messing around. Nice. This is what I have to do. Are you, uh, oh, you're, oh, 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 that's right, you're on that. Yep, yep, I remember where we're at. Yeah. So I, was in, I was in Office Space. Yeah. <laughs> which, damn, what a right. perfection in a movie. Like, really pretty close, if not, uh, yeah. It's pretty darn great. Um, yeah. It just, like, <laughs> I don't know if I watched that, like, I, I remember the first time I wanted to watch it, Mom told me no. Oh, really? Uh, and, I, and I don't, I'm trying to think now, was there anything really that bad in it, other than, no. like, you know, like... I mean, there were like some sex Curse jokes words and, and like, yeah. yeah. The um, boobs, there was a one set of boobs. But I mean... It was during a breast exam. <laughs> when I finally did watch Whoa, it hello, at like a friend's house or something, I was just like, it changed my view of what adult life was like. Maybe that's what she wanted to avoid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, keep my baby a boy forever. I, I feel like everything else I watched that was like also for adults or was mainly for adults was like sitcoms oh, just, and stuff. What are those people? Oh, did those, where, did those guys, where did that guy just fall from? I think... I think my fellow rangers are attacking. Oh. oh. And I was confused. Okay. Well, oh, the, the, the slaves are attacking. Okay. Um, nice. Man, yeah, it was just weird thinking back to when, when movies were restricted to me. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't watch The Meaning of Life. You had rented it from the video store, and I was like, I want to watch this. Because, I... holy grail. Wait, I rented I'm almost certain it was The Meaning of Life. Maybe it was Life of Brian. Mm -mm. I, 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 I didn't I, see those movies... At that age, like aside from Holy Grail, I mm, you definitely rented. No, seriously. Some, ooh, mm, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> I, feel like... I don't know, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> why, why am I mixing those? Uh, 
But uh, yeah, no, I I really I hadn't seen those at that age. The what only age? one like high school when I was living at home. You didn't. I, sure the you only. Didn't. Mm -mm. God, I remember. Monty Python was what, the only was, one. What else could it have been though? I don't know. I don't know. I remember being restricted from watching one of those Python films. Yeah. I was allowed to watch Holy Grail, of course, because whatever. There's just a bunch of needless violence and sex tricks and that too. Yeah, right. <laughs> like it's not any worse. But no, yeah. I remember, like the only thing I was restricted from watching, like. Because I was pretty much allowed to watch anything, but South Park was off the list. <laughs> I remember watching that South Park episode at uh, Cheryl's house in New York. Oh, wow. With the bus, uh, the, the, the Christmas episode. Or, well, it wasn't Christmas, but oh. that monster that tore apart the bus. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be a, that, that's what I call a sticky situation. <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl would have not been okay with knowing that we would watch that. No. Cheryl is the one who... Uh, Got me in trouble. <laughs> we, we shouldn't use names of our family members. That's true. That's true. But um, we'll uh, call her Sharon. <laughs> yeah, too late now. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, but no. Um, oh, am I gonna hurt my allies here? Nah. This, I mean, they might die. But I don't this think area is really hard to see what's going on with the lighting currently. Dude, you got this. Um. Oh. Well, that is interesting. Your frog's on fire. What do I need to Push do? It. Right button it. Oh, okay. Yeah. You just keep Even though it's it. on fire, you gotta oh, hold it down. right button, not right trigger. Yep, yep. you got it, man. Um, I think they're gonna blow it up before I do it. I think you I'm supposed to kill those. No, 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 push, push, push. Bro. I'm supposed. I'm clearly supposed to kill those guys. Are oh, you trying to set me up? Archer. Yeah. Yeah. Treat the objectives, man. Come on. I hate you so much. They will destroy it though. It's blown up. I know. I know. Those. I need to. All right. You. Say good night. And is there another one? There's lots of them, aren't there? Did they blow it up? <gasps> Mon oh. oh, man. Anyhow, what I, I was listening to the South Park album. Oh. Um, <laughs> with, like, suck on my chocolate salty balls and all that. <laughs> and uh, I was caught by an aunt. And uh, she told Grandma, and I was my album was taken away from me. Yeah, I mean, you should have been listening to that stuff. <laughs> I mean, probably not. What? <laughs> Preposterous. Not in Grandma's house, anyway, which is where it was. Oh. But that's where I lived at the time. I remember some of the movies I had Grandma buy me uh, when I was like, oh, I want to watch this. She bought me Undercover Brother. Oh, wow. She brought me Austin Powers uh, 3 Gold Member. <laughs> what? I'm trying to remember what else she bought me. I was like, Grandma, I want to watch this. <laughs> Why would she do that with no thought? I don't know. <laughs> I remember sometimes I rented movies on her on her like direct TV or whatever, and she, she was down there watching. She'd be like, "Oh my goodness, I can't believe you rented this." <laughs> but she would still watch it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. God, she's weird sometimes. I mean, I told you like it was a tradition. Uh, well, you too actually. You would watch Tales from the Crypt with her too, didn't you? Yes, yes. Yeah, like we would stay up late with Grandma and watch Tales from the Crypt. That's not normal for other families. Right, but like, it's awesome. But and, but for her to have like weird hangups about other things, but still be like, no, that's okay. Like what? Because there's so much like sexual content and violent content, you know. Gosh, yeah. And also, we're children who are gonna go to bed right after, and it's like, you know, potential Just, like, nightmare fuel. Never bothered me. No, not me. Either, there were definitely some but, horror movies that bothered me, but not me either. But like, why were we? Why, <laughs> like, doesn't it seem weird in retrospect? That that was going on. I don't oh, know. I didn't headshot all the archers. Well, it doesn't matter. You got pushed the wrong card. I need a bonus. Get yourself a sweet bonus. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Well, did you explain that on another episode? Yeah. Do, do you know what it is? You told me something about your friends. Yeah, playing Resident Evil Five. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, right. The, the guy who, who opened up mercenaries bonus. Get yourself right. a nice bonus. I heard you say all right. Well, I don't know if we're at the end of an episode, but I'm pushing this before yeah, the episode wait, ends. Yeah, time. You can get yeah. The this is not. We're not ending. But are there archers Actually, now? Actually, it's probably best just to finish this mission. You know what? Let's do this. And let's do this. Oh, you got a bonus, Jaman Rasta. Right. The Barleg. <laughs> that, that was uh, Jamaican and uh, and South African mixed together. You're gonna have to go. explain. Not bar leg deck, because I think we've explained that plenty of times on the show, but uh, you're going to have to <laughs> tell them your your theory on bar leg yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, are we doing that now? Is that what... it's, I don't know. This this feels like end of episode. What are we no, at? No, no, no. You, you, you have to fight the next... Uh, there's a scene. It's probably best to just go ahead for it. You have... All right. Well, this is time... Unless you want to do the, this boss fight in the next episode. 
Yeah, why don't we we'll pause it if it gives us a chance to pause it. We'll go through the cutscene here or whatever. What is going on with your phone? It's the countdown. What? Don't don't have it count oh, down. Is this because it's gonna go straight into the fight? Well, okay, let's fine. Go, let's go for it. What if the fight takes like half an hour? It's not. All right, I tried, everybody. You have to do this <laughs> for Cutsenia. Is that what you told them? What? That you have to do this. Don't worry. I was. It was reading the text on the screen. Oh. Go on with your bar leg yet. Oh, okay. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, <laughs> there was this like panel show of random ladies doing. I don't know where it was from. It was like a YouTube thing. I think. Sure. Okay. I don't think it was like a. But they were doing yeah. like. Uh, here's our skit where we do accents, or not our skit, yeah. but our like prompt where we do accents. And, and they're, they're like, like Girls' Generation or something, like some British girl pop band. <laughs> and they all. So were that doing was fine. totally the end of the mission. Oh. I guess we just do the next one. Oh, okay. I thought it went straight into it. Well, hey, <laughs> next time on Instagram Replay Live, I'll explain Bar Leggett. Well, just real quick. Okay. Google, Google um, British Jamaican accent, and that'll take care of it. That'll and I think it. that's fine. Yeah. That'll do it. That's fine. All right. Next time on Instant Replay Live, more Shadow of Mordor. More of it? Mordor. More or less door? You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.